working in your uh, your camera. So do I have a? Do I feel like I have a cut right here, but I think it's a scratch. It's a little, it's like a little, like a, a little bit. Yeah, not bad. You scratch me. Scratch you. Bastard, scratch me. <laughs> it's supposed to be a clean fight. Congratulations to Luke Cody. Um, going into this fight, uh, first you know, loss in the UFC, was there more pressure heading into this one, or did you just take it as another fight? Oh, I just answered that question. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I had, I've, I've really never lost a professional. Uh, I had one split decision loss going into that, but it was like a really, really bad split decision. Even, I mean, if anybody you guys watched it, you guys would think I'd won. So that was basically my first professional loss. Um, and coming back from that is hard. You know, there's a lot of extra pressure. You know, there's a lot of doubts and, and things, and I think maybe that affected my performance, but, you know, I just did not fight well tonight. I don't know what I was doing. I was, like, staring at myself in the mirror in there. I just, uh, I didn't pull the trigger, you know, and that's just not what I've been training to do. I've been training to be a killer. You know, I really, honestly, leading up to this fight, thought I was absolutely going to run through Alejandro Perez. I mean, the kid does hit hard, uh, and he's, like, uh, it's hard to explain the, the, the way he fights. Uh, you know, he doesn't really let, let you get away with anything. He's, he's a really, really tough tough kid, but I'm better than I'm better than what I showed tonight. And, uh, you know, I want to get back in there as soon as possible and, and prove that because I just was, I was hitting on, you know, six out of eight cylinders tonight. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, he, I mean, I really didn't feel like I got hit with anything, to be honest. Uh, I mean, look at my face. You know, there's some, some glancing shots. He throws a really, really hard, like, low calf kick. He did crack me that a bunch of times, um, but uh, yeah, I knew I knew I'd done enough. I was going forward, you know. I felt like I was getting the better shots off in the exchanges. I was landing my left hook a lot, um, you know. I was I was the one pushing the takedown. I was definitely more aggressive in the fight. I knew that I won. Obviously, you know, I've been on the wrong side of those decisions before, so you know, you're never that confident when you let the uh, let the judges handle that handle that. Uh, but yeah, I, I I was pretty sure I won. Uh, you know, Vegas has been good. Me and four in Vegas. So, what's the next Vegas card? Is that like two weeks? I'll fight then. Uh, it, I mean, I'm completely healthy. I have a couple bangs on my shin. This is probably the healthiest I've ever been coming out of a fight. Um, and probably the disappointed I've ever, most disappointed I've ever been. You know, after a win. Uh, you know, I'm better than that. And if I, I really wanted to come in here and just talk a bunch of shit and. Maybe call Aljamain Sterling again and, you know, try to get that fight back or, you know, try to fight some, you know, top, like a really, really tough top 10 guy because I feel like that's where I belong. And, man, after that performance, you know, unless I watch it and I'm like, wow, you look a lot better than you did. But usually that's not the case. You know, I think I'm going to watch it and be like pulling my hair out like, what the F are you doing, man? You're like, you're standing there. Uh, so, yeah, I just I need, I need to get back in there, uh, you know, so I'm going to go find Mr. Sean Shelby and, and go beg him for another fight here soon. Uh, I'm pretty annoyed, but you know, a few beers, I think I'll be all right. <laughs> he freaked me out. Kid freaked me out. Uh, he's a nice kid, but that was some weird shit he was doing. Uh, he was really breaking my concentration. You know, I was trying to stand up on the stage, look pretty for everybody, and uh, it was really, I was really throwing me off. I mean, uh, bar school. Barstool Sports did a video. Okay, some water. Uh, and I was I, I literally like looking over at him, like, what the fuck? Like in my head, I'm like, dude, what is this guy doing, man? He's freaking me out. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe I got in his head, and, and you guys didn't see this, but after we weighed in, because I was talking shit to him on stage, like, I'm going to throw you around, little boy, saying shit like that. And uh, after after we got in the back, I went through the curtains, and he's standing there, all, all broad chested, like, standing there. And the UFC is trying to break us up, and I'm. And I'm not doing anything. I'm like, I'm, I'm fine. I'm like, get, you know, the cameras are off us, dude. Get the fuck out of here. And he was like, mean mugging me all the way as he's backing up. It was just weird. It was just a really weird encounter. Weird shit I've ever seen, like, out of an opponent, for sure. You did that behind, like, behind the curtain, not on the actual stage. Yeah, no. Like, it, that's like the opposite of what you do. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to do that when the cameras are on. When the cameras go off, that's when you, like, go about your daily, daily routine. Not like when the cameras are off, like trying to beat me up in the backstage. I'm like, dude, we're fighting tomorrow. What are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. Like, what, what is this? Sorry. Was it a mental block, you think, or was it just an energy level? Uh, I don't know. I, I just I just know myself. You know what I mean? I, I really think, you know, for me, it, it's me against me out there. Um, you know, and if, and if I'm going out hitting on all cylinders, you know, I feel like I can beat anybody. But if I, when I go out there and I don't perform to my uh, capabilities or what I expect, you know, 
or what I think that I'm capable of uh, going in, leading into a fight. Because, I mean, I was a killer this camp. I felt awesome. I felt really good. I mean, I've gotten better since I was Jermaine Sterling, and I've gotten a lot better. Uh, you know, I really think I'd go back and whoop my own ass if I, if I had to. You know what I mean? So for me to go out and have a flat performance like that, it's kind of like, oh, what the hell is going on? You know what I mean? So I, I don't think it's uh, – I knew I was going to beat Perez. There was no doubt in my mind. I was going to beat him, you know, n no matter what I had to do. You know, even if I had to pick him up and take him down – for 15 minutes straight, I was going to beat him, but I really thought I was going to do it in a really flashy, cool way, and I was going to be like a, uh, a catapult to, you know, a next a next level fight, and it wasn't. So, uh, you know, my expectations are very high for myself, and I think that's kind of, you know, the reason I'm a little bit upset. But uh, you know, a win's a win. I am going to go celebrate tonight. I'm going to have some drinks with my family and uh, my friends, and uh, you know, we'll regroup. Monday we'll regroup, and uh, you know, I'll be uh, getting back kicking ass on Monday. Be good? Alright, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.